Are those gold coins? Oh, they are. All right, everyone, it's storage auction day. I bought a storage unit here at this facility. I paid 50 bucks for it. I placed the bid this morning. It was an online unit. Um, I placed this bid this morning. It ended at one in the afternoon. No one else bid against me. So for 50 bucks, let's see how well we did. Um, there is a lot of kid stuff, but I think there's still other stuff in there. That is the lockout code. That means that I haven't tampered with this or done anything to it. I put the password in there. That should happen like that. And now we will see what's in here. As you can see, I did not stage this at all. But like I said, there should be a lot of kid stuff, but for 50 bucks, I think there is still a mystery. Huh? First impression? Not as much kid stuff as I thought. I also just hurt my wrist somehow lifting up that thing. So that was not smart. Um... These are kids' clothes. So that's kind of what turned me off and I think kind of kept the price low here. And then this thing, whatever the heck that is, that's probably for Hot Wheels. If I can find a Hot Wheel out of all this, I would show you exactly how it works. But let's dig into this and hopefully find some things. All right, so I don't have my chest mount on. Game of poor life decisions. I feel like that's how you get into a lot of fights with people by playing that game. Um, I did notice it says car case. I think it's for that. At, originally, I thought this was a card case, like for sports cards, which have been incredibly hot over the last couple of years. This thing feels pretty heavy, so I'm going to assume it's probably full. Oh, things are falling out. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is a collection and a half. How's this unlock over here? I think that's how you do that. There you go. Holy smokes. I don't know which ones are rare. If any are rare. They look fairly new. 2012. Um, let's see if we can get this thing going. Oh, it's like all kind of apart. We got pretty far of that one. I'll start it here. Okay. Before I damage the two thousand dollar red line, I should probably put it back. All right. I'm not an expert in clothes, at least kids' clothes. So I probably won't show you much here. I don't think there's anything hiding, but I probably should always look. That way, you bring it to a flea market, you bring it to a yard sale, you're not like everything that bid is 50 cents or a dollar. Some nice stuff. Five T, I don't know what that is. Five toddler, small, medium, and that's large, extra large. But yeah, you don't want to... Uh, you don't want to uh, bring this stuff as is to the market if you don't actually know what's in there. Ooh, sewing machine. And a sleeping bag. As I tell you what, I've had like things that I just didn't know were in things and like something like this. It's an umbrella, all right. You know, it might not be an umbrella. I feel like 
feels like an umbrella. Whew. So it looks like it might be a mixture of stuff. I don't know if I want to use that as my tripod. That's got a lot of weight. There might be money in here. more cards giant I'm gonna have to check online and see if there's any money on this stay tuned for a future video I'll let you guys know I won't make a whole video on it maybe I will but I'll let you know if there's any money on that we got a bunch of giant gift cards it's a local grocery store but this thing feels like it has something right in this compartment right here Lots of change. Change. Probably about a dollar worth. I don't see any dollars. No. It's a really nice Michael Kors purse. really really heavy I thought there was real like a lot of money in here but it's probably like coins and the gift cards not bad other oddball stuff that was in there just paperwork book that bat it came out of this which was looks like just clothes that looks like a winter jacket nice boots I don't know what the brand on this jacket is. Kind of looks like a Michael Kors kind of jacket. It is. If I can find it. It's a Worthington jacket. So I don't think that's a great, great brand, but I mean, it'll sell. Yeah, we'll put that back in there. Moving over here to the right side. We've got some stuffed animals. Just missed the Easter holiday with that one. Those are a bunch of shapes and a whole bunch of dinosaurs down there. And a cow. There's one lonely cow. So when I say kid stuff, that's kind of what I like. I refer to. I, the stuffed animals are pretty difficult to sell. Um, but like those dinosaurs, I'll probably put them into a flat. Dinosaurs actually sell pretty well. Kids love dinosaurs. Um, some of the other animals really don't. The farm animals, they're hit or missed. Like dinosaurs, like kids love dinosaurs. Um, I'll put that into a flat and probably sell it for like five bucks. I can exaggerate and say $100 or $20 to make this video sound better. But realistically, probably five bucks. Somebody will buy it for $5. I wonder what kind of sewing machine that is. I'm trying to also figure out how I'm going to. I wonder what's in these bins. There's a bunch of bins, a bunch of boxes. Those look like possibly shoes. Looks like more kids' stuff. These are all blankets. And if I don't sell it and something like this that's clean, I donate it. Um, obviously, I try to valueize my time a little bit. I don't want to just give away everything for free because, you know, I spent money on this unit. I've also spent time being here and driving here. Um, but I don't try throwing away stuff just because it's really easy to just throw it away. I try to donate stuff as well. It's kind of like the circle of life um, with this stuff. I don't know why so uh, made for crafting. Why someone would say these empty boxes. That wall I think is empty. It's empty. Let's see what's 
Oops, and this guy right here. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's got the bottles in it. They move around. So they probably come out. Oh, it's made by Buddy L. Oh, that's awesome. They're probably not individual. Are they? No, they're, well, they're individual cases. Oh, wow. I assume there's probably a lot of them out there, but that is really cool. Like I would say, you can probably sell those things online. I don't have any service here, so I can't check the uh, the price of anything. Um, you got another Coca-Cola truck. That's pretty cool. Oh, we just don't use those. I wonder if those like containers are worth just as much as the, the truck is. found one of these this is one of those uh, these are one of those things that if you look up on eBay you'll be very tricked with the price because they don't sell for what like the listed price is. and then if you start scrolling down you'll see that they're really not even close to what people have them listed for fabric fun kit Fitbit just the box and what looks like a dream catcher Close. Just make a quick check and make sure there's nothing below the close. That looks like just close. Close and close and close. Wow. Empty. Another dream catcher thing. I'll have to check and see if any of this stuff is silver. I don't see any gold right now. That's in there. That's Sterling. Oh my goodness. There's so much costume jewelry in here.
That'll be fun to look through at another time. I don't know if there's any gold in there. It looks like a lot of pins and bushes. That's the right word. This is that other box. That was it. Yeah, this was the other box. There's not a car. Oh, oh man, I got tricked. I thought I had a $3 bill. All right, this unit's turned out a lot better than I thought it was. And it realistically, in the photos, you couldn't see anything like all this smalls and stuff. You saw a lot of kids stuff. And like I said in the beginning, I thought this would be a unit that had lots of kids' toys. And I was, I was not going to say I wasn't looking forward to it, but I was really like kind of pessimistic that we'd find other stuff. But, man, we're really knocking out of the ballpark here. Um, here we have another, there's another bin down there. Let's see what's in this guy. Beanie Babies. Somebody's track and field meet. School district. Trophies. Looks like paperwork. paperwork. There's a pin down there. That's all paperwork. That sounds empty. Angry birds, these are towels or kids' plushies. Oh, that's. I thought that was plastic. It's not, it's plaster. Alright, that was quick. Find out that. More stuffed animals. What's in here? Cassettes. That's a very random thing to be in here. Ooh, now we're talking. Deep Purple, Monsters of Rock, Leonard Skinner. Probably some decent, decent stuff in there. Classic Rock, Van Halen. Queen, Alabama, Journey. So this is all the stuff you want. You'd probably want some hip hop or rap in there also, in terms of resale value. But that's a good find. It's so random too. Usually it's always uh, like country stars, George Strait, Johnny Cash, and a whole lot of people no one's ever heard about. Should probably move this over. Got a sports jersey. jersey we got Gary Sheffield I think probably Yankees I think that was Gary Sheffield's number Yankees jersey it's like a woman's woman's jersey I think everyone growing up playing baseball in the 90s and 2000s imitated Gary Sheffield's batting stance at one time Like is this? Oh, it's a bag. It's like holy smokes, that's a really really cool T-shirt. Curse, of course, in the the box of all T-shirts, there's another ace. That's a new shirt. That will sell. That's a cool find. I did uh I did pull this from that corner a lot earlier in the video. Um, the Converse sneakers are in there. They're like a toddler size, whatever the heck. Uh, infant size, I should say, five infant size black uh, 7J235. In case anyone was wondering, they're in there. I know it's not life or death with this video, but I try to try to regroup or re recap everything I kind of find, as well as like I said, I do make videos past this video on stuff that I might find these units so like that. Uh, that box of jewelry, never know. Never know. This box has books and books and books. Twilight books. Had some rocks also at the bottom. That box is books.
Are those gold coins? Oh, they are. They're dollar coins. Those pennies. Oh my goodness, there's got to be like 20 bucks there. Holy smokes. I can try counting them right now. Let's see how well I do. I don't know if these are... Now there's Susan B. Anthony dollars also mixed in there, so I didn't know if they were quarters, so now I'm going to recount. Because the Susan B. Anthony's have grooves on them. I just learned that right now. The other ones don't. $38 in coins. $38. They're not tokens for, for a car wash. They're actually dollar coins. They're different ones. Some are that Sacagawea. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Some are Susan B. Anthony and some of these other ones that I've never even seen. But they all say dollar U.S. currency on them or dollar United States of America. I'm not counting the pennies. There's probably like five cents in there. I should put that in my pocket so I don't lose that. All right. I don't think there's anything else at the bottom of this, so I put this back, and then at a future time, I'll go through it. It's kind of dark right here. Oh, jeez. I should probably just brought it out there to do that, right? I know when I edit this video, I'm going to kick myself over a lot of stuff. Let's see if the wine opener is even in here or something else. No, it's a wine opener. I don't know. This thing has some weight to it. Maybe there's a Picasso in here. Or the blueprints for the Titanic. I don't think there's either. All right. Looks like kids art. I don't, I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm just saying that's what it looks like. Ooh, jewelry box and something else. More cassettes. Something's in there. A gift for you. 18 and a half genuine crystal. Okay. I think if it was gold, it would price. I mean, if it was silver, it'd probably say sterling silver on it. There's other handful of stuff. There's a whistle down there and a couple more pins. I'll have to look through that another time. Let's see, where are the kitchen items? Where are your utensils? IDFU, IDIFU, IDFU. Oh, they're high heels. Might be expensive. I've never heard of that brand. There's a book in there. Some more shoes. That looks like the last two bins. Well, that one looks like it. Clothes, kids' clothes. I see medium 10 12. Might have some adult clothes and other stuff. 
Oh, it's broken. Mm, not really. Some dull clothes got stoned. Yeah. So that was that one. And then the other one was also closed. So I got myself a lot of clothes. I would say this. Probably one of the very few storage units I've bought where the clothes didn't smell like a storage unit. And if you know that smell, it's very consistent with all storage units I've ever bought. So you probably know it if you bought them. Uh, but this stuff doesn't have any sort of stench whatsoever. Like it smells, it doesn't smell clean, but it doesn't smell, like it doesn't have that perfume smell, but it doesn't have a dirty smell or just no scent. Interesting. All right, that's my paper. And I guess the last thing for today is let's see what's in the sewing box. It's not very heavy, but I think it's in there. I assume a sewing machine. But for anyone out there who loves sewing and wants to know what model it is, I will give you that opportunity. Ooh, that looks really nice. Is it an embroider machine or is it a sewing machine? It looks like they never used it. Look, that's still in there. No one would ever keep that plastic, you know? Oh, man. It's got the spare oil, the spare bobbins. It's, well, that's it. I imagine that thing was not cheap. Wow. All right, put that on the van. We are good to go. That was an awesome unit. Not much garbage. And anything that I don't sell, I can probably donate in one way or the other. I'll probably have about maybe one trash can, maybe two trash cans out of an entire sort of garbage. That's going to be like oddball paperwork, and empty bottles that were in there. Not bad. All cleaned out. Nothing left. Another good unit in the books.